Hello guys, this is Spicy, and this is a review of the Bandai High Grade Universal Century HGC144 Scale Rick Dom 2. So, I finally found this kit. I actually purchased this kit uh, built on eBay because uh, I could not find one at you know a reasonable price because uh, this kit's been uh, discontinued for a while, and I don't think. Uh, Bandai is gonna bring this kit back anytime soon unless they're gonna build, make like a build diver variant of this uh, kit. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Uh, it is a little bit beat up doing uh, ship shipping. Uh, retail uh, it was released in 2004, making this kit about 14 years old. Here we have the side of the box showing the uh, Rick Dom 2. Very cool. Here's the price tag that was removed and. Let's see, uh, more pictures of the gimmick. I am actually missing one accessory. I'm missing the uh, Stern Faust. So yeah, but you know, I have plenty of Stern Fausts, so <laughs> that's not a big deal. Uh, retail price is 1500 yen. You can probably find this kit in North America for around 18 US dollars. And let's go ahead and take a look at the manual real quick. Uh, this guy's made from titanium alloy. And it's a uh, giant bazooka Stern Faust, which I don't have. And the uh, 90 millimeter machine gun heat saber and the fusion beam cannon, which is this thing right here. So obviously this is based on the Rick Dom. Uh, Rick Dom is a space type of the uh, Dom variant. And yeah, you see, you can see uh, it's got all these thrusters and fuel tanks for space travel. And here are all the accessories: a beam bazooka, a beam ma uh, machine gun, not a beam machine gun, just a 90 millimeter machine gun. The uh, Stern Faust and it's the Stern Faust is just a grenade and the uh, beam heat saber, not beam saber. So, yeah, here we have the uh, Rick Dom with all the accessories. We have them in here, the manual here, the inside. Pretty much shows the same thing. And we have the Rick Dom firing the uh, bazooka, some line art and stuff like that, assembly instructions. And let's get right into it. So, yeah, like I said, uh, this kit was almost complete. It's just missing the uh, Storm Faust. So, anyway, here, let's take a look at the bazooka. I did have to repaint this to make it look better. Paint it in the camera. And, yeah, just painted this using uh, Tester's uh, Model Master Metalizer Lacquer Gun Metal. So, makes it look cooler. Okay, also painted the uh, uh, the machine gun here. I did a lot of painting on this kit because uh, I feel like some some of the detail are kind of lacking. Painted all the joints, gun metal. Uh, painted the joints on the forearm gun metal too, like that. Painted the fuel tank. Painted the thrusters. You know, all of it except for the bottom of the feet. And yeah, the shoulder armor is kind of coming off. And I also had to uh, touch up on this kit because. Uh, there were some nut marks, uh, obviously uh, it was actually built probably using uh, just nippers, but it's still pretty good. I think the uh, uh, the original owner did a pretty decent job building it. So here we go. Now that we see all the detail, let's talk about the kit. So obviously we got the heat saber here. I repainted the, uh, the heat saber effect, also painted the hilt. The heat saber can be stored in here. Oops, okay, you gotta angle this a little bit. Also painted in all the details here, like that. Oh, I kind of messed up here. What the, uh, probably have to go back in and clean it up. This is a, uh, this is lacquer, so you can kind of scratch it off, but to completely clean it, you probably need to use uh, rubbing alcohol to get this stuff off. Anyway, let's go ahead and stick the heat saber down here, like so. And then connect it back into the backpack. Also painted the back of the kit, uh, all that section right there. Uh, this piece right here is a full cigarette, which is not very good. It's already starting to peel off, so I have to uh, fix that or paint that. So anyway, throw some water slide decal on here to you know, bring out more details. Another 56 right there. 56 on the bazooka. <clears throat> Now what's really cool about this kit is that it's the uh, old style kit that uses the articulated fingers. So yeah, if you've seen the uh, uh, the Rick Dom, uh, not the Rick Dom, the Rick DS and the uh, 
uh, Zeku lines, they all feature this function, which is okay. I mean, it's not the best design. Uh, that's why it's uh, they canceled it, stopped using it. But uh, it's okay. It's it's uh, it's good for some stuff, but not good for most of the stuff. <laughs> so yeah, uh, obviously you can wield the bazooka. Uh, I think they recommend that you uh, go under, go under like that. And the shoulder armor piece like to come off. But anyway, here it is. Here's the uh, Rick Diaz wielding the bazooka. I still think it's better if he goes, uh, you know, over it. Let me see if I can actually get that to work. Probably have to angle the uh, hand a little bit. Stick this in here. Move the. Uh... There we go. That works too. I think I like this better. I like it this way. Because that way you can uh, kind of look into the camera while firing it. So yeah, it's a pretty nice looking kid. I, I do like the design of the uh, uh, Rick Dom too. In fact, I've been looking for a Rick Dom 2 for who knows how long. <laughs> and I'm just happy I finally got it. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove all the accessories and talk about the articulation. Obviously, since this is a pretty old kit, articulation is not going to be so great. Uh, we got a ball joint here. It's a poly cap to the uh, ball joint system right there, so you can move it, rotate 360. And then we also got an ankle armor here that you can move up and down. And then we got the... Uh, a little bit is a double joint, but you can only get like this much out of it. A little, uh, around 90 degrees. That's pretty fair. And then uh, you can articulate the front skirt, articulate the side skirt, rotate that a little bit, like that. I don't recommend touching this side skirt right here because this piece right here, this is a very common problem. Uh, these two pieces do like to come off when, the, uh, you know, if you push them out a little bit. So just leave that alone. And on the back we got these uh, thrusters which you can kind of move a little bit but I don't recommend it either. So, And then we got the connection point port here for the uh, heat saver. You're supposed to push it all the way in I think. I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to probably remove the heat saver anyway. <clears throat> Alright and then we got the waist articulation. Oops! See there we go. Uh, this is like a very common problem. A lot of the parts on the skirt like to come off, so I do recommend if you get this kit, you probably want to glue these parts in. Uh, it actually came uh, undone during shipping, and the pieces were just floating inside the box, which was a little bit disappointing. But either way, I'm probably just gonna like you know cement these pieces in and the back skirt pieces. It's very annoying, and the head. It's obviously on the ball joint, you can rotate that. Really not much you can do with it. I did uh, also paint it in the uh, power cables on the head using uh, gunmetal lacquer on testers. Shoulder armors can be removed, but yeah, that's just the typical design. Arm can go perpendicular like that. Rolled bicep swivel. Elbow bend 90 degrees. I also painted in all the, uh, the whole entire joint section. So you get like color separation there. This looks a lot better than just all purple. But yeah, that's definitely uh, nice. And then I uh, got the uh, uh, ball joint for the hand. I did also painted in the uh, guns. I think these are machine gun ports on the arm, like that. And that is pretty much it. I did not realize there were some color issues with this kit, so I'm probably going to go back there and clean up some of the uh, paint air. So what's really nice is that there's actually a color separation right here on the shoulder armor piece right here. The inside is like a red part, so that's actually pretty cool. And overall, it's just a, it's a very nice kit. I like it. It's just got to just be aware of the uh, skirt. The skirt is kind of problematic. Otherwise, uh, it's a pretty solid kit. And I'm happy I got this finally. <laughs> Alright guys, that's pretty much it for this review. I hope you guys find the information helpful. Thanks for watching.